Hi friends, welcome to another gab about some bags. This bag gab will be a little bit different from my usual gabs in that typically I gab about items that I have in my collection and share my impressions of them. Today's gab is actually about five items that I do not have in my collection, but they are five Louis Vuitton items that I feel like are classics to the house that are really the foundation of the brand and things that immediately come to mind when people think of Louis Vuitton, but that I do not personally own at this moment. And um, I will also share items that I do have in my collection that I feel like fits the criteria for what I would be using those items for. So let's just get started. Um, the first item on my list is, I think the uh, quintessential Louis Vuitton item. It's not a trunk, <laughs> though I do not have one of those in my uh, collection either. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton Speedy, and I include in that the Speedy original top handle and the bondelier version. I love the Speedy bags. I think they are wonderful. I have in the past had several in my collection. I did have the uh, original top handle in an epi blue leather that I just thought was so gorgeous and so much fun and I got so many compliments whenever I carried that bag even from people who are not into Louis Vuitton or not into fashion or anything like that like it's just such a cute little bag um, but it was very difficult to use without a strap it was just there was no place to ever put it down uh, and even though I'm not super careful with my bags uh, I don't prefer to put them on the floor necessarily. So it was always like a thing, like where do you put it when you need to just do anything else. Um, so I did have to rehouse that and somebody else gave it a great home and I hope they are still loving it. Um, when the Bondelier versions became available, I did add two to my collection. I added two of the three canvas prints. So I had the Demi Urbain and uh, the uh, traditional typical monogram both in the Speedies 30 and when I had those bags at first I used them all the time. I carried all of my daily essentials. I think they are great and the strap to go crossbody just made them that much more functional. They could carry like not just the essentials like my whole work day would fit in no problem uh, especially the Demi Abin version but eventually Louis Vuitton released the Palm Springs backpacks several years ago, you might remember, and I moved into a Louis Vuitton um, Palm Springs MM size, I believe that's right, the biggest size that they make in that bag. I uh, was able to get my hands on one before they went on unavailable for years. Uh, I do note that they are back now, but for a long time they were just like still on the website but not available for purchase. Anyway, uh, I moved into that and I found that I much preferred for day to day for the kinds of errands I was running because the 30 is a pretty good size. It's not really um, a cutesy size, you know what I mean? It's like a very functional workhorse kind of size. So it fit exactly as much as my backpack and I was preferring to grab my backpack and go. So I sold one and I held on to another for sentimental reasons. I don't know what sentiments exactly. Nobody bought them for me or anything, but I was just like, well, I must keep a speedy in my uh, collection. What kind of Louis Vuitton lover am I? And then eventually, you know, I was just like, Ugh, every time I reach for this bag, it's like I'm making myself use it. So I did sell it last spring and uh, it now has a new home and hopefully its owner is loving it. The next bag on my list of quintessential Louis Vuitton items that I do not currently have in my collection would be the Neverfull. <sighs> I love the Neverfull bag. I think it's a great bag and it was one of those bags, first of all, it was one of my very first brand new Louis Vuitton bag of the GM size, uh, especially again in the Demi bin. Um, and I used to use it as my work bag for years. I would just throw lunches, water bottles, um, uh, sneakers, everything into that bag and just go without any regret that I was forgetting anything at home that I would need um, throughout the day. Uh, but eventually, as might happen with somebody who carries that much stuff in their bag, I started having some shoulder and back problems. Uh, my bag was constantly very heavy and I was always shifting side to side and it dawned on me that it was because I was carrying too much in my bag. Uh, so I decided to start using backpacks more heavily and I've always loved backpacks, but I don't know, for some reason I thought as an adult, I really couldn't use them. 
once I got over that, um, I moved pretty heavily into backpacks just to protect the health of my shoulders and my back. And I found that I wasn't reaching for the Neverfulls in the same way that I used to. So slowly they made their way out of my collection. I had it in the three canvas prints. The Damiers are always the first to go because I always just struggle to pair it with things. Like I don't wear a lot of light outfits. so. Uh, that was a no-brainer uh, and then the Danier Abin I sold last year to one of my Insta friends and I hope she's still enjoying it um, and getting great use out of it but that was the one that I was reaching for the least and I held on to the canvas print the um, monogram print for quite some time but eventually I just really wasn't reaching for it and I wasn't feeling any excitement about reaching for it um, so I did part with it very very recently um would i add it to my collection in the future i think so i think i would um but i think if i were going to return the neverfull it would be in a mon mono and i would get it personalized because i do think it's such a classic it is such a useful versatile classic tote um that it doesn't you know i would love to have it um but i would have it for personal reasons and so i would want a mon mono version so we'll see how that goes uh, but that's the second item that I do not have in my collection. Uh, the third item that I do not have is an Alma. Um, and the Alma and I never really vibed. I love to see the Alma on other people. And some people really just, oh my gosh, like really work it. And I love the way it looks on them. But it's not quite my vibe. I have a little bit more of a like a... I don't know, urban carefree vibe and the Alma is really mostly top handle and I'm including the classic Alma in the original size and the Alma BB. Um, I feel like the original size is a little bit more of a sophisticated bag than I can really pull off like I wear sneakers and backpacks so the Alma doesn't quite um, fit into that rotation very easily. Uh, the Alma BB I have liked but I don't love the way it kind of hangs out and uh, the bottom is very straight and very uh, protrudy. I don't know, like it's shaped like a triangle. I'll insert pictures. So uh, it just kind of protrudes out from my hip in a way that I don't always find helpful, especially because I do take public transportation. Um, when I've tried it on, I don't always like the way it just kind of swings. So would I buy an Alma, the big one? No, uh, I just don't feel like we vibe. But would I add an Alma BB? maybe um because i think i could wear i could wear it to like nicer events if i am not taking public transportation and i don't have to carry it all day but i think for um a day-to-day -day, everyday kind of bag uh we just wouldn't work out so as love as much as i love the alma and i appreciate it on others uh it's just not the bag for me all right, so we're getting down to it. Uh, the fourth item that is a classic to Louis Vuitton, I think that I do not own in my collection, is a niece. Um, and the niece is not traditionally a bag, though I do know that they've released the niece bags in the last year or so. I think they have like a niece nano and a niece mini and things like this. I'm talking about the original niece. Um, which is a vanity and uh, I think that thing is gorgeous oh my gosh Ooh. and I definitely want one um, I don't have one in my collection and it's a shame the reason I don't have one is because they are still quite pricey for what they are and um, what I think I would use it for would be a closet decoration like they would just it would just sit there and I would put I don't even know if I would want to put makeup on it because I wouldn't want to get it dirty or anything. But it would be like part of a look, you know? And it would be, it's a very expensive part of a look because only I would get to see it. It would be on my vanity next to my makeup, I guess. And it would bring me joy, absolutely. And I want one, absolutely, I want one, I do. But I just haven't quite got around to um, purchasing one because, eh, I mean, <sighs> so the other thing I could use it for, I suppose, is to travel, um, if I travel by train or bus. But I, also have a lot of travel pouches. I have all three of the toiletry pouches um, and I just don't know what I would put in it, right? Like, and I like having the smaller pouches because then I can put like 
body wash and hair things and big tubes in a big one and then smaller items in a smaller one and then even smaller smaller items in the smaller smaller one and so on and then put them strategically in my bag and travel that way but I kind of feel like if I put it all in one item like a niece I think that would be a little harder to travel with so I don't see myself necessarily traveling with the niece if and or when I do get it uh, so that's one of the reasons I don't have it is I'm kind of like, eh, I love it. I want it. I definitely want it. But like, mm, what's my use for it? So that is that. So the fifth item that I do not have in my collection, a full size Louis Vuitton wallet. Um, and those wallets, people love them. And I love seeing people's pictures on Instagram and in videos where they're like, I've had this since the whatever, 10, 15 years. The Zippy wallet comes to mind. The uh, Josephine wallet, the Emily wallet, all those full size wallets uh, come to mind. And I know that people love them, but I've never had use for a full size wallet. And I had to learn that the hard way. And I can name those wallets so quickly because I have owned all of them and have uh, sold all of them. Um, in my mind, the thing that an accomplished, sophisticated lady gets is a full size wallet. Some brands call it a continental wallet. You know, they're big and you've got like room for eight cards and uh, a place for checkbooks. Who's carrying a checkbook? not me, a uh, space for your checkbook and a place for coins and bills that fold and secret compartments and all of that. Um, but the reality is I don't carry that many cards. Uh, I live in a city, I guess. I mean, I, yeah, I live in a city. But um, I carry the same things day to day. I have like ever the need for a card to get into my office which I carry in my clay or um, in my six key holder um, I carry maybe four cards like a debit card and a couple of credit cards in case of an emergency but I'm not carrying like seven credit cards right it's my debit card and maybe two credit cards in case heaven forbid um, insurance card you know things like that so uh, I do carry cash, but I never need to carry like neatly stacked a bunch of cash, like just a little cash. So, and the last one that I purchased was actually the um, Emily wallet, I believe, and the Clemen, the Clemens wallet. And I purchased it two years ago because it was the smaller of the large wallets that they make. And, you know, it was cute, but it takes up a bunch of space in my bag and I was just like <laughs> looking for things to carry in it. So I no longer have that. So those are the items, the five items that I do not have in my collection that I think are amazing, beautiful, that I enjoy seeing other people carry, but I just have found that they no longer work for me and I um, don't have, or in the case of the niece, I do intend to add, I'm just not sure when and I would need it for a good price and I would probably need it pre-loved because for the need that I have for it, um, yeah, I just don't, don't believe I will be investing in it brand new. So those are the items. I would love to know if there's anything you think that I missed. Um, other Louis Vuitton items that you think are quintessential Louis Vuitton that are just amazing and you can't believe I did not add to this list um, or items that you also feel like, yeah, they're great or if you agree with these but other items that I didn't mention that you think are great but like you don't really need them in your collection would love to hear from you please get back stay well peace